Interview, Headmaster Crane. I'm so excited to write about your upcoming anniversary here at Stardust Bay. Of course, Robin. As you know, I'm an avid reader of your school blog. I'd like to start by asking you how you felt your first day on the job. As I recall, I was very nervous. I realized that it was up to me and my staff to train our cadets properly so they could keep themselves safe. That is a big responsibility. How did you deal with all the pressure? One of my first acts as Headmaster was to create this meditation garden. Oh, I'm so glad you built this garden. It's my absolute favorite reading spot. Every day after astrophysics class, I come here to read my mysteries. I'm pleased to hear that. I must say, it's not a surprise to me that you enjoy mysteries so much. In fact, science is essentially solving a mystery using evidence, logic, and deduction. <laughs> Crane! You'll never believe it! Why, I can hardly believe it myself! Jumping Jupiter! What are the odds? Easy, Coot. You obviously have very big news to share with us. Take a deep breath and collect yourself so we can hear what it is. <laughs> oh, that is better. Do you remember my old invention, the Meteorite Tracker 3000? How could I forget? Coot invented the Meteorite Tracker 3000 back when we were both students. It studied the skies and could locate the landing site of a meteorite within a half mile. We had quite a time rocketing all over Earth tracking them down. Meteorites can tell us a lot about our solar system's history, and our searches led us all across the globe. It was a great experience. We made friends wherever we went. What about the machine, Coot? Why, it started beeping again last night. And now it's reporting that a meteorite landed right here in Stardust Bay. Here on the school grounds? Yes! This is truly amazing. Especially since only about ten meteorites a year actually reach the Earth's surface. Do you know where it landed exactly? Eh, uh, that's just it. I've searched the entire campus, but I can't find any trace of it. I'll help find it. A missing meteorite. What an exciting mystery to solve. And I can't think of a better rocket for the job. If anyone can figure out where that meteorite fell, it's you, Robin. <laughs> And we don't know its exact location, but if we split up and search the grounds carefully from the air, we should be able to find it. Now, I've divided the campus into zones for each of us to fly over. Ava, can you upload the search areas to our visors? Affirmative, Cadet. Uploading now. If we focus on our assigned zones and really search them well, we're sure to find the meteorite. Where are you guys going? Can I come too? Sure. We're hunting for a meteorite and could use your help. Come on! Oh, Bowie, how come I can never... Wait, you said yes! Yay! Bet you a case of cranberry rocket fuel that I'll find that meteorite first! You mean you'll be reading about me finding it in the school blog tomorrow. Guys, this isn't a race! We need to take our time and search carefully! Hey, I found something! Good job, Hawk! It's not the meteorite, but it is my favorite Orbo Orb that I lost last semester! I can't believe I found it! And I found an awesome new rock for my collection! Looks just like me! What do you think? So close, it's almost spooky, huh? Oh, it's spooky, all right. Why, there you are! I've been looking for you for ages! It's Carrot Breath from My Lunar Pony! I thought I lost her forever! I 
I'm so glad we went on this search. I'm happy you guys found your lost stuff, but we still haven't found any sign of the meteorite. Hey, security cameras! Maybe one of them caught the meteorite landing. Come on, guys. There's another place we can check. Ava, can you please play back the surveillance video from last night? Uploading now. Coot said the meteorite fell just before midnight. Let's take a look. Hockey, is that you? Look, you were rolling in your sleep. Wow, no wonder I wasn't hungry for breakfast this morning. <laughs> <laughs> you see that flash of light? I bet that was it. Ava, is there any way we can see all the camera views at once? Affirmative, Cadet Robin. Oh, they all show the flash of light, but none of them show where the meteorite hit. Wait, I think I found something. Ava, can you blow up our view of the amphitheater so it's full screen? I know what that is. It's a ricochet. A uh, rick-a-what? Ricochet. It's when something bounces off something else and goes flying back in the other direction. I bet it was the meteorite. Let's go check outside the amphitheater to see if we can figure out where it bounced. Hey, guys. Did you lose something? Crow, did you happen to hear anything last night that sounded like a boom? Or a crash? Well, I did hear something, but it wasn't a boob or a crash. It was more like a boing, 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 boing. That's the bouncy ricochet, right? Could be, Starling. Then there was a splash, but it sounded kind of far away. Is that what I think it is? Look! There's a scorch mark on the lightning rod, see? And it's facing towards the bay. That explains both of the sounds Crow heard. So the meteorite must have bounced off the lightning rod and landed in the water. Come on, let's go! How will we be able to tell the meteorite from all the other rocks lying on the bottom? Oh, I know! Koo taught us that 99% of meteorites are magnetic. So, if we use our magnets to search down there, that should do the trick. Hawk, you're a genius. I know. All right, space racers, prepare for underwater operations. Magnets? Ready! Searchlights? On! Oh. Underwater visors? Down! Yeah. Then here we go! It's just like exploring a new planet down here. This bay is so large, it could take us weeks to complete the search. Maybe even longer. I'm sorry, guys. I hate to say it, but I think it's time to call it off for now. Aww, I really thought that if we carefully considered all of the evidence and looked really hard, we would find the meteorite. But... I guess I was wrong. Don't feel bad, Robin. I almost never get things right the first time, but my secret is that I never give up. That is a good way to go about things, Hawk. But we spent so much time hunting for the space rock, it's gonna take us forever to catch up with our studies. <sighs> that meteorite will just have to wait to be found. Fuel cheese. Is something troubling you, young Rocket? Oh, Headmaster Crane, we searched everywhere and followed all the clues. But we just couldn't find the meteorite. We're sure it fell into the water, but the bay is much too big for us to search. I wish I had more time to keep looking, but I'm starting to fall behind on all of my schoolwork. Robin, it was wise to turn your attention back to your other responsibilities. By tending to other tasks, you may see your original problem from an angle you hadn't yet considered. Almost finished with the story. Now I've just got to put these pictures of Headmaster Crane in place. Wait a sec. What's that? 
Could it be? Oh, I've got to make sure. Whoa, you're racing faster than Eagle. What's up? Hey, I think I found it, but I'm not sure. The picture's right in front of me the whole time. Just follow me. Headmaster Crane! Coot, I think I know where the meteorite landed! Oh? Well done, Robin. I knew it would only be a matter of time. We all knew that. I want to know what we don't already know. Where did it land? Look, that rock in the reflection pond? It's not in this older photo, but it's in the pic I took today. Did you put that there, Headmaster? No, I didn't. <laughs> Why, it's been staring us in the visors this whole time. But how do you know that's the meteorite? I know the answer to that. Robin, you did it. And you too, Starling. Sure. We all did it. I never would have found it without you guys. I am humbled by this wonderful article. It makes me realize how lucky I am to be here with you cadets. I can also see that your love for reading has had a very positive impact on your writing. Thank you. But are you sure that you didn't already notice the meteorite in the pond and were just waiting for me to find it? As a wise rocket once said, when your head is in the stars, you may miss what's on the ground. Headmaster Crane, what does that mean exactly? Ah, young rocket, that is another mystery for another day.